working out with coaches, just you know, having everyone be on the same page, and that's that's been the key. You know, you know, so much about basketball is rotations, and you know, having each other's back, and knowing when an emergency switch, and all this stuff. And I think we're just kind of clicking there. You know, we're in, in the past, we were just there were so many new pieces. Sometimes no one was really sure what to do. We've had a lot, we've had a lot more clarity. Um, you know, really, really making that uh, that adjustment. What's the big key for the Big Ten tournament for you guys? Big key. Um, well, the first big key was to get a good seed, and we got that down. So, um, but you know, next big key is just uh, you know being able to play you know three games in three days. It's it's you know something new. You, you do an AAU, but it's just not the same. Um, you know, thank, thankfully we don't have to you know play from Wednesday like some of these like five games in five days. That's just that's you know ridiculous. It's your bodies aren't. I don't care if you're Yogi Ferrell. Your body's not made for that. Um, but yeah, you know, just just being able to. Uh, you know, have toughness, you know, play together, keep that defense going, and I'll be on the same page. How important was it for you um, to get a win here in your, in your last game here you played in Assembly Hall? It was awesome. Um, you know, it was just kind of the cherry on top of something that's already been great. You know, obviously we didn't need it numbers-wise, but, um, you know, I think you know, Coach, like I was saying in the media the other day, Coach did a great job of keeping us focused. Um, you know, making sure we really valued this and knew how much it meant, and uh, you know, coming out and you know, playing our hardest. So, you know, it meant a lot potentially for an NCAA tournament team. I'm sure you weren't, or maybe were you looking at that a little bit that, that this would help beating a top 20 team and that type of thing. It wasn't mentioned, but you know, like me, you know, being a veteran, I kind of understand how that works. You know, a lot of a lot of guys just get so a lot of you know, just human nature in general. You get so satisfied with you know what's right in front of you. You know, you want a Big Ten, you can relax. But you know, Coach does a great job of you know keeping us focused, like I was saying. And, um, you know, really understanding that there's there's a, a bigger picture here, and you know, to get what we want to do, um, you know, every every day counts. Practice, games, whatever it is. You probably already answered this, but having won two Big Ten championships and winning another one, how do you go about looking heading into tournament play with with this team? What do you what do you, what do you tell these guys, and what do you emphasize? You know, um, for me, I just you know, I think I think we're a dangerous team because we've seen just about everything. Um, you know, whether it's playing at Duke, whether it's going through troubles in Maui, whether it's you know losing to a Penn State team, and you know the tough wins we have had coming back to Notre Dame, being down, knowing we can you know come back. Um, but I, I think you know we've just done you know such a great job. I just got to you know keep reminding the guys how good we are, what we can do, keeping us focused. Um, you know, when things start going wrong, not get on our heels. You know, stay aggressive. You know, be the team that people you know will be scared of don't don't be the team that we aren't and you know uh, lose a lead or whatever you know that might happen